everyone, it's Catherine with Ready, Set, ABA, and today we're going to talk about positive and negative punishment. First up, just like our positive and negative reinforcement scenarios, when we hear positive and negative, we don't want to think good or bad. We simply want to think of adding or taking away. So once we can figure that out and remember that, it really helps as we're breaking down these scenarios. We know that punishment is any instance that's added or taken away that decreases the future frequency of behavior. So if the behavior is decreasing or not going to happen later on because of an event that occurred, it's going to be punished. It's punishment. So here we have some examples of positive. It's often adding something that we don't like, like a reprimand, a spank, or a painful stimulus. Uh, now reprimands are not always positive punishment. Uh, sometimes people think that they're providing punishment by saying, don't do that. And then you get a giggle or more attention seeking type behaviors. So we just have to be mindful of that when we're recognizing punishment scenarios to think about what happens to the behavior later. Now, these are not recommendations. We do not practice these things in ABA and oftentimes we completely stray away from punishment unless it's a safety reason. So that's really important too, but we have to be able to recognize when these are happening so that we can jump in and really recommend other things like reinforcement based strategies. So one example of positive punishment is running at the pool and then falling and skinning your knee. So there's a painful stimulus that is, that is added and then in the future you're not going to run. Okay, so for negative here, for negative punishment, an example would be losing iPad or deducting recess time. These are going to be things that we want to earn but we're not getting them or they're being taken away from us. So in the future, again, that behavior is punished. One example, we want to do our one, two, three system just as we would for reinforcement scenarios. So the first question that we ask when we're trying to dissect these scenarios is what's the behavior? So let's say Neil engages in hitting behavior and when he does, uh, we take away the iPad and in the future he doesn't hit. So that's our scenario. So what's the behavior hitting others? Was something added or taken away? Well, we know here that the iPad was taken away, and in the future, he does not hit. Now, let's talk about how these negative punishment scenarios turn in, or positive punishment scenarios, turn in to avoidance behavior. So we have our first situation. Maybe it only happens once. You've heard the saying like, oh, it happened once and you'll never do it again, uh, things like that. So when we have a hand touching on the hot stove, we're not going to do that again. Touching the hot stove decreases. In the future, we might grab an oven mitt. So that is our avoidance behavior. We're avoiding getting burned again, so we're, we're going to engage in putting an oven mitt on. That's the behavior, and it's going to be reinforced because we avoid that burn. Another example to take it back to our positive punishment example, running at the pool, you fall, and you skin your knee. So that scenario, if we do our one, two, three, what's the behavior? Running at the pool. Pain is added, that's positive. In the future, the running decreases, positive punishment. Now in the future, we might have a replacement behavior that we do instead. So we've learned to walk, okay? So now we have a new scenario. So our running was positively punished. So we have our running behavior over here. Now in the future, we're like, okay, we don't want to experience that again. So what is the behavior? The behavior is walking, number one. Was well, something added or taken away? Well, this time, something is taken away. We avoid the pain altogether. That is what is removed. That's what's motivating us to walk. So that's negative. In the future, we continue to walk. That's reinforcement. So walking behavior is now reinforced because we're avoiding that pain. I hope this helps. Uh, remember that we always combine reinforcement if we have to do a punishment situation uh, or scenario for safety reasons, we always implement reinforcement and consider cost benefit, but really we, we stay away from these altogether as much as possible. All right, so make sure that you subscribe because I'm posting a video a week and also check out our Instagram page and our website for more and comment below if you've experienced these or witnessed these situations or have any good examples to share.